Hello everyone and welcome back to Terraria. In the last episode I did some more dungeon stuff and I found Sassafras, the Elder Slime. And I'm, I think I am pretty close to... I'm pretty close to uh, getting to the Wall of Flesh. I have a few things I need to take care of. I did mention this in the last episode, but just to recap. I need uh, I need some iron skin. Oh, we do have some iron skin, actually. Uh, let's see, I need a swiftness. I need a regen potion. Uh, the thorns... The thorns potion would be good. Increases knockback. Now, knockback on the wall of flesh is not going to help me much, because... Um, yeah. So I'm not going to bother with that one. I'm going to take an archery potion. Um, so yeah, all I need is a regen potion, but, oh, and some healing potions, but I think 126, I think I'm good with that, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm I need to make some lanterns, some heart lanterns. Um, I also need to make some food. Now, I don't know where I put my cooking pot. But I did find a recipe that I wanted to try for something that will give me medium improvements to stats. And it's pretty easy to make, I just need to find where I put the ingredients. Okay, I might not have any. Basically it's eight, it's eight vertebrae. In a cooking pot, okay, I have 39, okay. Eight vertebrae in the cooking pot, and I don't have a cooking pot, so I thought I had one. Did I? I must have picked it back up and put it somewhere else. Okay, so I need to find my cooking pot. Whereabouts is it? Um, I, I could just make another one. I think I'm gonna have to. Yep, yeah, okay, I'll just make another one. <laughs> no big. <laughs> it's probably staring me right in the face. But um Cooking pot, let's just make another one. There we go. I think I took it um I took it away because I was getting infested with uh bugs and stink bugs, but I'm still getting stink bugs, so I don't know why. Right. This monster lasagna. That is what I need. Eight vertebrae or eight rotten chunks, depending on what world you're living in. Obviously, I'm gonna aim for the Christmas pudding first, but eight minutes isn't bad considering you get vertebrae from you know just sneezing in the crimson so that's that i also wanted to upgrade my boots these spect boots i wanted to upgrade them to uh, frost spark boots and i wanted to do that before the wall of flesh because you can finish the entire crafting tree before before hard mode and for that i need to find an ag anklet and an aglet. Then I need to find some ice skates after that. So, aglet I can buy from... I can buy from one of the merchants, I believe. The anklet I can find in the jungle. And the... The ice skates you find in the ice biome. I'm pretty sure... Which way is the ice biome? I haven't explored much of the ice biome, so I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down there this time. And maybe I will also find a better bow. Because I know the ice bow it has you, you don't have to keep clicking it, it's just it's auto shoot. And it's a heck of a lot faster than this one. What I also wanted to do <laughs> I have a lot to I have a lot to get done. Is I wanted to make some I do have some health stone. 
if you put the Mimimator together with a bunch of other things, you can make the Knight's Edge. Now, I have the Blood Butcher, I can make the Blade of Grass, and I can make the Volcano. I'm pretty sure I have them in here. Well, let's put the hearts away. There we go. Ooh, the gold squirrel. Yes, I can also turn this into food. I believe. Yes, golden delight. Major improvement to all stats. And it lasts for 48 minutes. So that is a lot better than the Christmas pudding. And, ooh, there we go. Got a new achievement as well. Um, obviously, the wall of flesh is not going to last 48 minutes, but it will get us through the beginning of hard mode as well, which is it's pretty good considering, you know, there's not much else you can use those golden, golden bugs for. So, right, what was I doing? I need to find the blood butcher that I have. So this is just going to be a prep episode. Okay, uh, where did I put my weapons? Oh, no. Yep, this is going to be entirely prep. Okay, there's the blood butcher. And I need to make a blade of grass. And I also need to make the volcano. And slime is falling from the sky. I believe I did say in one of the previous episodes that I need to uh, I need to fight the slime king, and that's happening. So today is going to be a prep episode with the slime king. Let's see, Knight's Edge. Okay, how do I make this again? I'm pretty sure I thought it was the Tinker's Workshop, but now I'm thinking it might be the Anvil. Um, should I ask you? Oh, Crimson Altar. Okay, so I need a trip to the, uh, the Crimson. That's fine. I'm just going to run over there real quick. Okay, where is Altar? There we go. Knight's Edge. 40 melee damage. Okay, we do need to... Uh, we do need to reforge that. Ooh, there's a weird bomb on my roof. That's fine. Okay, I also need to build a house for the goblin tinkerer, but I'm going to do that off the recording because uh, <laughs> there's no point in me showing <laughs> building because, you know, I'm not exactly very good at it, so. Ooh, there we go. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That. Um. No. I don't know what the best. I want to be careful because. Okay. I don't have enough money to do this, but strong is okay. Ooh. They have changed the uh, animation for that since I last used it. Look at this. Nice. Okay, so we have a Knight's Edge. Uh, and now all we need is to... I'm going to go to the Ice Biome as well. And get... Um, see if I can find some ice skates. But let's take care of the Slime King first. How much slime? 
How much more slime does it need? There we go, okay. He took his sweet time. Now he should appear. There he is. Now he's not going to be a problem. we go. Not a problem at all. Oh! And Sid appears. Okay, hold on a minute, Sid. Let me let me get all this money and I will talk to you. Sid. Babble babble blub glub. Oh, he says gulp. Sorry. Babble babble blub gulp. <laughs> you can pet the slime. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did actually find that you can get a sassafras here too. Um, there we go. Sid the nerdy slime is going to live out in our greenhouse. Right. Fantastic. Well that was the king slime. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to clear out my inventory actually because that would be smart. Okay, he dropped some lead. A uh, lead ore and a slime gun, which is literally just a gun that shoots slime. Not particularly interested in it because it is absolutely useless. He does drop a solidifier as well, also kind of uh, useless. When you're so interested in that kind of stuff, which I've never needed never had a use for it so I'm not going to be too concerned. Right, I'm going to quick stack. Perfect. Good. Okay. We can get rid of those. He drops ninja armor too but I'm not interested in that. Put that in there. Put my key. Now I'm going to keep these on me. I put the potions away. I'm gonna move this plant chest to um to the greenhouse eventually. Right, right to the ice biome. And torches down here. It's dark. Right, we are at the snow biome. So uh, let's see. It's pretty dark down here. Okay, those snow flinxes in um, either expert mode or master mode, they are they are so annoying. It's nice playing classic for a change, just so you can just so you can get rid of them quicker. Oh, oh, I saw that. Okay, this uh, this ice stuff is pretty dangerous, as you can see. You can just fall to your death. I wouldn't because I have a horseshoe, but just, you know, good to be careful about these things. Oh, there's a bat in here. Apparently, if you right click an enemy with your thing, it targets it. So hopefully if I do that, it won't come back. Don't know how well that worked. No, they can come back anyway. Unless you have to stay on the Oh, I think you have to stay on the weapon. Okay, that probably isn't going to be very useful to us then. Oh, he dropped a steak. I am concerned about what type of steak that would drop, but a steak is pretty good for... Uh, you get major improvement to all stats, and it lasts for about 16 minutes. Ooh, superior ice boomerang. Would have been nice at one point, but I'm going to leave it now because I don't need it. What I would like to find is a minecart track. Because that would be incredibly useful for exploring a lot of the ice bone. 
So long as it stays in the ice biome phase. Oh! Oh, speak of the devil. Okay. Nice. Ah. Do not want to... There we go. Ah, I thought you could get me, didn't you? Well, I have learned from my mistakes. And I am now a safer player. I will no longer be fooled by traps of any sort. Got a heart crystal. I didn't see that. <laughs> I did not see that at all. Well... Wow, ah, Blood Moon. Okay, I'm going to ignore that. Because I don't want to deal with it. I want to find my ice boots. Uh, snow shovels. Snow ice, ice. Ice skates. I might have to give up on the boots. Uh, just because I'm having no luck finding anything. I'm pretty sure I will find some eventually. Oh god, another one of those stupid sword things. All those things were supposed to be rare. They're not. I found six. Well, no, I, I have one that I found at the beginning of the game. And I think I found three? Oh my god, five. <laughs> They're everywhere. Well, I'm going to head back up. And that'll be... That'll be it for this episode. I got a bit done. Finally got the Slime King. Got our Sassafras pet slime to move in. And we've met another slime that I cannot remember the name of. Sid. We have met Sid the slime. So that's that's something. I think I'm going to scrap my plans of finding the boots and hope I'm fast enough as it is. So next episode is going to be the wall of flesh. I don't think there's anything else I need. See, I've got the potions. I do need a regen potion, actually, now that I think about it. Although, no, it's not going to be the Wall of Flesh next episode because I need to finish my bridge. Okay, so next episode's going to be more hell. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Uh, please leave a like and a comment. It helps me, you know helps me stay motivated to do this and I will see you next time. Bye!